Hi, I'm Professor Nick Rothman, and in this episode of the Contra Costa College AutoTech Instructional Video Series, I'll be describing how to use a combination patch to repair a punctured tire. First, I will describe how to check if a flat, punctured tire is repairable. Then, I will give a step-by-step -step demonstration of how to repair the puncture using a combination patch. If a nail, screw, or other object has punctured the tire, there are several things to check before we can decide whether to repair or replace the tire. First of all, only single puncture points, like nail holes, are repairable. A slit or oblong hole is not repairable. Second, only punctures in the center portion of the tread are repairable. The sidewall and outside edge of the tire tread are not repairable. It is very important to take tire repair seriously. A repaired tire that fails without warning can cause the driver to lose control of the car and crash. Never repair the sidewall of a tire. Finally, we must check if the car was driven on the damaged tire after air pressure was lost. Look for a ring-shaped groove on the sidewalls before starting the process of patching the tire. When a car is driven on a tire with very low air pressure, the rim cuts into the sidewall, making ring-shaped grooves on the sidewalls. Thin, damaged sidewalls can cause a tire to blow out without warning. Finally, check that the tire was not worn out to begin with. If the tread depth is less than 2 seconds of an inch, if the steel belt is showing, or if the tread is bubbled or separated from the tire, then replace the tire. First, remove the tire from the rim. Next, go ahead and remove the nail or screw that is stuck in the tire tread. Note, if the nail or screw is going through the tread at a steep angle, more than about 20 degrees, you must use a special two-piece tire patch, not the combination patch and plug we will see installed here. Circle the damaged area. Pour cleaner fluid on the area and scrape with a scraper. Drill through the hole with the appropriate sized reamer bit. With a rotary buffer, buff an area a bit larger than the patch. Do not buff through to the tire cords, just buff the surface of the rubber. Clean out the rubber dust with a vacuum cleaner. Paint the buffed area with vulcanizing cement and allow to dry completely. Once the glue on the patch contact area is dry, apply a small amount of cement directly to the hole in the tire tread. Do not wait for the cement filling the hole in the tire to dry or the patch will not pull through. Before installing the patch, remove the orange plastic film if applicable. Pull the patch through until it seats on the tire. Do not pull too hard. Using the stitch tool, roll the patch down to the tire surface. Press with force rolling down the edges last. Apply patch rubber sealer over the top of the patch area and past the edges of the patch. In certain cases, if the bead area of the rim looks dirty or corroded, you may want to apply bead sealer to the rim. This final step will prevent air loss from the tire bead rim contact area.
Thank you for watching this instructional video. Go ahead and practice patching tires in the Contra Costa shop area. After practicing patching a few tires, you will be able to repair a tire quickly the right way. That's the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it fun and informative. Please feel free to check out the other videos in the Contra Costa College Automotive Technology Instructional Video Series.